a fine edition video. It's going to be a hot one style video here. And I got nine sauces to choose from. And I got these nuggets to do with. And I got questions from you people out there for me to answer. All right. But first, support your local hot sauce and barbecue sauce pit master. Yes! Those are the members who are important to eat to, to support everyone like that. Also support small business too while you're at it. If you don't, fuck you. All right. Let's get this going. Got nine sauces. I listed them all. We're going to see them all. We're going to start with this one, the Chipotle from the Desert Heat Pack that I got on Christmas. Mm. So now let's do it. Shit. All right. It's a lot. Okay. First question. Julia at LBI, Long Beach Island, New Jersey, and asked me, what was my favorite shore town eatery, favorite eating place on the shore? Now, I've only been to a few shore towns. La Bamba at LBI is actually really good, but uh, I've been to a few places in Atlantic City that were shit. <laughs> the shits. Uh, they give you the shits, too, while we're at it. Casino stuff. Ugh. Horrible. I think I went to the Land Shark Bar or Cafe, or whatever the fuck it's called, in Atlantic City. It's the shits. Unless you drink beer. You're a fucking hillbilly redneck piece of shit. But that's fine then. I wasn't overly impressed with it either. The sauce has uh, some nice kick to it. I'm enjoying it. Ted in Ottawa asked me this very interesting question. What do I know more about, hockey or women? Well, first of all, I don't know shit about women. <laughs> I know plenty about hockey, though. Hockey's a fun sport. It's less complicated than learning about what women really are and what they want and stuff. I don't know that shit, man. Next sauce. De La Buena. I don't know if I did the heat uh, scale correctly on some of this stuff, but uh, this is like a mildish medium sauce. Very mild. Okay. Steve in Winnipeg asked me, uh, what is my favorite CFL team? And do I prefer the CFL over the NFL or vice versa? I prefer the CFL over the NFL. The rules are a little bit different. Field's a little bit bigger. You got 12 players on the team instead of 11. Uh, as far as my favorite teams is concerned, uh, Winnipeg, obviously the Blue Bombers, obviously they've won the last couple of Grey Cups. Uh, Hamilton's really good. It's been the team they've been facing in the Grey Cup. They have a ton of meetings in the Grey Cup over the history. Uh, BC Lions, I like them too. I just call it Lions, but they're the more competitive Lions than the fucking Detroit Lions. All right. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of like the CFL more. Uh, Edmonton changed their name to the Elks. They used to be called the Eskimos. You know, kind of like how Washington uh, football team used to be called the Redskins, so they changed the name. It made, it made perfect sense to do that. I'm curious what the Elks will do. They've been started from scratch, basically, from what I gathered. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Mm. It's good stuff. Did it by that. All right, Cayenne. This one probably should have went first, but nah, who cares? I make the rules here. Nobody else does, so fuck you if you think so. All right, here we go.
that has more kick. This has more kick than Chipotle does. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot more kick. Woo! Some burning spiciness in there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't like the NFL. The NFL is fucking overrated. Bunch of fucking overpaid crybaby motherfuckers. You know, I'm not gonna say thugs, but then again, a lot of them act like fucking thugs and they fucking. I fucking hate this. They, 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 they commit a turnover, they cause a turnover. They, you know, interception or a fumble, and then the motherfuckers run across the fucking field to the other side in front of the camera and dance in front of the fucking camera. What the fuck is that shit? Bunch of fucking retards. That's why. So, fuck the NFL. CFL. Oh. <clears throat> Scorn woman. I love scoring woman. It's good stuff, but... <clears throat> it's gonna be a bitch. Next question is from uh, Casey in uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina. You can find him on uh, Instagram at Conditioning with Casey. He asked me what was my favorite book. He also asked me what was the favorite movie to watch if I'm lazy. Well, the favorite movie, I would, I'd recommend Clerks. I'd recommend any of the movies that you can find on Mystery Science Theater 3000 and the early stuff, like the ones from the 90s episodes and stuff. Those movies are pretty interesting. Commentary is better, obviously. <laughs> Uh, if I wanted to pick, uh, if I'm lazy, Night of the Living Dead, the original Night of the Living Dead, anything from Vincent Price, or Peter Cushing, or Christopher Lee, stuff that horror shit, good stuff though, anything from Alfred Hitchcock or Stanley Kubrick, that'd be great. As far as favorite books wise, Dostoevsky, uh, Tolstoy, uh, Machiavelli, uh, work your way off that list, and then from there, then you can move on to find you know, that's what I would prefer. I mean, I like Dostoevsky anyways. I think the world would be a much better place if more people read Machiavelli and Dostoevsky with an open mind instead of the mind that they have and stuff. Because I just think that stuff is kind of like banned shit or whatever. I don't recommend you. I don't recommend you read War and Peace because War and Peace is too long, too convoluted. Nah. Not exactly to my liking, you know. Next one. Hot bomb from uh, Karma Sauce. A good question here. Uh, Liz in New York ask me, uh, which do you prefer, chicken or fish? Both. Uh, chicken, which is more high preference. I like fish, though. Love fish. And so, how do I prepare each? Well, I'm grilling. <laughs> Grill it, bake it, grill it, saute it, marinate it. Fucking, well, just don't eat it raw. Well, obviously, you don't eat it raw anyway, so you're fucking stupid or something. preference, I guess, on that. This depends on, uh, you know, what you're looking for, I guess. Oh. The shit. As far as, uh, my chicken nuggets, obviously, but they don't really count, so, uh, Chicken and stuffing actually be great. Chicken and rice, you know, bake the chicken, grill the chicken, you know, make chicken burgers, chicken sandwiches, chicken salad. Always remember though, it's it's much easier to make chicken salad out of chicken instead of making chicken salad out of chicken shit. Always remember that. Next. 
Ghosted and Ghosted from H2O Sauce. Gentleman uh, named Justin down in Texas makes this stuff. It's fine stuff. I recommend it. Lester in Illinois had this very interesting question. What, who is my favorite guitar player? Me. And what are my favorite bands? Mm. I'd always recommend people go find me on YouTube, and if you're able to look at my fucking like video playlist, then you can just work your way on that and just try to guess. There's hundreds of artists. <laughs> stuff. I'd recommend you try that, because that stuff's probably the better. <laughs> Better way of looking at it, I guess. Yeah, you know, better chance of getting your answers there. You know, down the hatch. Da, 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 da. for me to determine who's my favorite band. I, I, I can't fucking tell you that. I, I guess just, uh, it's almost guesswork at this point. And now the next, next culprit. Born to Hula, Guajiro Monster. Nuggets. So here we are. Oh man. Okay. Well, I like this stuff. I like the, uh, the ghost and the guayulo mixed together with the habanero. It's a nice, nice little mix together. Obviously, behind me, you can see all the hot sauces and shit like that. I got still got a few bottles over there, but I mean, the majority of the collection is sitting right behind me, folks. All right, um, next question, Lucinda in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, asked me, uh, what was my biggest artistic influence, uh, painting, music, or hot sauce? Which is interesting. That's a good question. Uh, started with painting, and then eventually it turned into music, and then hot sauce. But hot sauce, I think, predated music, but around the same time as painting. Uh, that one's, uh, I, was, I, I love painting. I like making music, and I like fucking consuming this stuff. You know, this stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, nothing wrong with it. It's actually really good. So they have Fuego box exclusive, and the overpriced, expensive Fuego box that they rip you off on, and then they fuck you in the ass on the shipping. Fuego needs to do something about that. Otherwise, they can get me to fucking buy that shit. Two more to go. It's kind of like an orange. Heartbreaking Dons. Scorpion, orange juice, habaneros, and much other shit. They put that little fucking orifice thing on there. Fuck that shit. I don't need that negativity in my life. Do you? Alright. Doesn't seem like much I'm pouring on here, but just keep bearing with that, folks. Hmm. So. Ashley in Mississippi asked, uh, what was my biggest sauce fail? Biggest sauce fail. Ooh. As far as making homemade sauces, a few of them I had a bunch of shit that I tried making in late 2020, early 2021. Those were failures, big time failures. Fucking smelly, moldy fucking shit. I had Reapers and Jigsaws and Scorpions and fucking habanero and fatalis and shit like that. And I had good stuff in there, but I had no idea that I needed to balance it with flavor. 
I didn't do that. That shit was over the fucking top. And holy fuck. <laughs> Everything was just completely fucked out, you know, out of, out, of the, out of the equation. You know? End of the day, that's kind of how it is. You know? But. Sometimes that happens. All right, one more. Carolina Reapers last time. Got a few questions left here. Let's see if I can do this. Charlie, uh, Charlie in Starkville, Mississippi, asks, "Who is my favorite territory wrestler?" Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, territory tag teams wise, I mean, like the uh, Midnight Express and Rock and Roll Express. Uh, obviously, the Horsemen, Tully and Arn, and or Ole Anderson and Arn Anderson actually would be great. Actually, any one of those guys in singles competitor is great. Bobby Eaton was one of my favorite wrestlers. He passed away back in August, but um, they're real good as far as mid, for as mid Memphis, mid South, uh, world class wrestling. The Von Erichs, yeah, the Von Erich brothers. Uh, yeah, you had them. You had uh, Jim Crockett Promotions, which was the precursor to WCW. I mean, obviously Ric Flair, everyone loves him, but fucking, uh, there were other great wrestlers. Sting. Sting, you know, and you had Ron Simmons, you know, Butch Reed. Mm hmm. Doom. You know, really good, real good wrestlers. Uh, oof. Any of the Horsemen, obviously. Barry Windham, obviously. Lex Luger. You know, when he was early out and stuff. Was never a WWF fan. Still not. I mean, some of those guys were pretty good. I mean, obviously, Randy Poffo, uh, Randy Savage. I mean, he came up through came up through certain territories, obviously, in Memphis and uh, other areas before he eventually ended up in WWF and became champion. I mean, that's... Uh, the bottom line with that and stuff, I mean, as far as tag teams wise, then you had the Midnight Express, and the Midnight Express were awesome. They're fucking amazing. All right, folks, down the hatch now. All right. But, I mean, apart from that, I can't think of anybody else. Haven't had any water yet. <laughs> uh, my next last question. Lenora asked me, "Why do I like redheads?" That's a difficult question to answer. I'm obsessed with them. Obsessed with redheaded women, beautiful redheaded women. You know, I'm obsessed with that. You know, I think we're all obsessed with one thing or another. It's, that's one thing I'm def deeply obsessed with, obviously, is that. Wow. Ooh. Holy shit, this is hot. Yeah. Oh, man. But. Oh. That's the sauce that breaks the camel's back right there, man. Oh. 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 It's like... Uh, uh, that's what it feels like right now. Oh. 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 oh, my God. I was getting all cocky and stuff. Because most of these weren't actually doing anything to me. I don't know. I'm like, oh, holy shit. That's just what it takes, man. This is my first attempt at making a hot one style video. I'll probably make more of these in the future again. I'll probably include this sauce again just for the hell of it. Oh my god. But I guess that's it, folks.
Here's the last question. Barry in Los Santos asked me, what, whose side am I on? The side for recreational freedom or the side, or the side of the fascists? Recreational freedom. Smoke it all. I'm on that side. Fuck the fascists. Fuck everybody else who disagrees with it. Till then, folks. I'll be back soon to do another one of these challenges. Okay? This is the main shit right here, folks. Ah.